benchmark dose modeling for the safety assessment of novel foods, overview of use and challenge. What happens when a food company wants to put a novel food into the European market, such as insect or in vitro meat? The European Food Safety Authority, EFSA, is in charge of assessing their safety. At EFSA, we look at the toxicological studies investigating the response of various organisms to exposure to this novel food to define a dose which is safe for human consumption. We call this dose the reference point. Traditionally, this reference point has been based on the no absurd adverse effect level approach, NOEL. As it can be seen in the figure, this analysis establishes the relation between different doses of the novel food and a specific endpoint, for example, liver weight. Based on a statistical analysis, the NOEL corresponds to the highest dose at which no adverse effects are observed. That's our reference point for safety. However, in 2009, EPSA identified that the benchmark dose modeling approach is a scientifically advanced alternative to the NOEL. With a few data points, BMD allows to mathematically model a full dose response curve. We can now define our reference point based on a pre-specified change in a response called the benchmark response, BMR. The tricky part is to define what is biologically relevant. For example, what change in liver weight should be considered adverse, 5% or maybe 10%? Guidance provide default values, but this is something that is usually studied on a case-by-case -case basis for each endpoint. In this project, we collected the information from all the Nobel Foods opinion already published to see when, why, and how the BMD approach was employed in the assessment. The rare use of the BMD approach in the Nobel Food Risk Assessment evidenced the existence of challenge associated with its implementation. Further guidance is needed to achieve homogeneity and consistency among all novel foods and ultimately all substances assessed by EFSA.